Happy Takeaway Tuesday. I'm Taylor Peters here with defensive coordinator Keith Patterson. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the first conference victory right here at home and a sensational performance from your defensive unit. Thank you. I, I tell our guys all the time it's a player's game, and, and you saw them uh, today. They played and performed. And we'll dive right in with that first offensive possession for Oklahoma State and your true freshman, Tony Bradford Jr., just with an incredible play force in the fumble. I'll let you take over from okay. here. All right. So right here, it's third down 14, showing pressure. Uh, end up dropping into an eight-man drop, playing zone, just trying to read the quarterback's eyes. I want you to watch the effort right here by Jalen Hutchins in the middle of the screen. I mean, he splits a double team. Yeah, he's just playing with phenomenal effort. Again, that's what we talked about raising our level of mental intensity, which will lead to a, to a greater physical effort, which all of our kids did on Saturday. Uh, just got to get more consistent doing that. I and mean, you see right here, he's able to get the ball out. And then the awareness, when, when you have a high level of mental focus and intensity, now all of a sudden the ball's on the mm -hmm. ground. You see two guys with an opportunity to recover the fumble. Great play by Jalen Hutchins right there. And Jalen yeah. Hutchins, a guy, I mean, he's just a sophomore, right? So that's two young players for your defensive line that played really aggressive that, and created opportunities. That's right. Here's another one right here. Tony Bradford uh, actually causes this interception. So we're bringing a five-man pressure, mm -hmm. spying the back, spying the quarterback. Okay, he's able to just get enough of him right there as he, as he tries to release mm -hmm. the football. Yeah, again, Doug just has an uh, incredible knack of undercutting those routes right there. Makes a great play. Uh, and you know it's just it's great team defense. I mean, you're getting pressure on the quarterback. Uh, Tony doing a nice job right here, staying alive to the to, to the uh, quarterback. We got a slant working up front, okay, bringing the backer off the edge up top. And you see right there, just gets enough of him as he's releasing the football to take some of the speed off of it. And again, nice undercut by Doug. Yeah, allows Doug, a senior with a lot of experience, to make a big play. Now leads the country in interceptions with five. But another big play coming up right here for, for your senior captain, Jordan Brooks, who had a sensation. That's right. I can't really remember the situation right here, but I know they got great field position. Um, and here, so we bring max pressure right here. They're trying to tempo us. Uh, so we end up bringing max pressure right up the middle. Brooks just does a nice job timing it up. Okay, again, right in the face of the quarterback before he has an opportunity to release the ball and gets the ball out. Uh, again, because of that great, uh, you know, high level of mental focus that I felt like that we had all day long. Uh, when the ball hit the ground, we had guys, uh, Rabbit coming here off the edge, okay, and is able to, uh, I think he ended up eventually do, does a nice job right there fighting and recovering the football. Jordan Brooks would finish the day with 19 tackles. Uh, Three tackles for a loss. Three tackles for loss. Three tackles for loss. Four quarterback uh, sacks. I mean, wow. he was plus 56 on our uh, production board, which uh, that was with a couple of missed tackles and a couple of MAs. So it's the highest I've ever seen since we've been been uh, charting our our performance. And that game was good enough to make him the Walter Camp National Player of the Week yeah. and also Defensive Player of the Week in the Big 12. A, it, a great day for Jordan. It, it was. I mean, he just continues to get better. Has a better feel for the scheme and. I think, uh, again, I just think he's going to continue to improve as the season goes on. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. For Coach Patterson, I'm Taylor Peters, and this is Takeaway Tuesday.